I'm ne ne never okay with a loss, uh, obviously, uh, but, but really proud of our guys and, and how we competed. We've really been challenged, especially in the last week, that we, we need to put the game, a game together where we compete uh, for 40 minutes, where we follow game plan, uh, and where, where we do the little things like get on the floor for loose balls and, and, and grab the ball in, in key moments. And, and uh, I think we definitely did that tonight. We just didn't make enough basketball plays uh, to win the game and, uh, you know, got uh, – Adam Alita wide open uh, at the end of the game. You're not going to get a better look than that at 62-60. I don't know exactly how much time was on the clock right there. I think about 15 seconds maybe. Uh, then just didn't go in. But uh, we're, we're really pleased with our effort and uh, to come into this this environment against a, a team that uh, is, you know we're, we're definitely out outmatched against athletically uh, anyway. Um, that being said, I thought we had the best player on the floor tonight. Quite honestly, I didn't think it was close. And Dan Tez Walton, uh, I thought he was outstanding. Uh, really impacted the game in a lot of different ways, uh, not just scoring the basketball. And so, uh, we'll um, not happy with the loss, but this is something I think that we can take and, and, and try to build on as we move forward. Dan, what you guys run? I guess I'm not smart enough to, to get such a good open three. Like that. Yeah, the plays is I'm really, really proud of our guys because that's a you, you know you have no timeouts or you don't want to call one in that situation and uh, play that we have to try to execute and and uh, really the step we made from a coaching perspective is you know it was designed for Tyler Sharp he didn't have a shot but he didn't force a bad one and he didn't turn it over trying to make a play he was under control he got in the paint kicked it out uh, to Adam Alita and then we wanted the floor spaced right there to be able to to do that so we couldn't have executed that any better we just we just didn't make the shot. It looked like it was I really did. Adams, you know, is as good a shooter as we have in terms of just making shots. He just hasn't been able to carry it in into game action yet. And I actually told him coming out of the last time out, you're about to make a big shot for us, man. Your, t your time's coming. And so I, I actually thought it was going in, but, uh, you know, rimmed in and out. I know you guys were missing your point guard. Mason Jones didn't play. When did you guys know Mason Jones wasn't going to play? Or did you maybe expect him to pop in there or something? Yeah, no, tip off. I, I didn't know till tip off. One of my one of my staff members told us that uh, he was down there in street clothes or sweats or whatever. And sales for them, he can't buy a three, but boy, he's tough going inside. What what you think of his? Game? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think he's a kid that's really aggressive. Uh, you know, and, and, and plays with the kind of, I think, personality and approach that, that I'm sure Eric wants uh, in his team and his players. Um, you know, we, we were uh, pleased with the way we guarded in terms of we knew Joe was the only real threat from three and held him to two for nine shooting. And so, uh, but uh, I, I think they hurt us a few times, and he was one of them, and getting in the paint and, and getting some easy ones against our defense. What, what, what do you guys do to uh, Isaiah in particular? And, and, Nothing special other than wanting to know where he was all the time and, uh, and, and make sure that he didn't get any clean looks. And, and, and one of the threes he got, we just totally blew. We just left him. Uh, and he shot it from, you know, I think maybe over in Rogers. But uh, uh, still, you know, you can't let him do that. I, I think he's the best shooter that we've seen and we'll see all year. I played against him last year when I was at Texas. I think he is an elite, elite shooter. What did you guys do to get Dantes going? He just kind of took Yeah, we, we didn't feel like they had anybody that could guard him, quite honestly. And then, you know, they play so few guys uh, that they seem like they're a little less aggressive once the ball gets in the scoring area that they don't want to foul. And so we were just telling him to be aggressive, and we, we moved him all over the floor uh, to try to take advantage of it. Uh, you know, we got in a two-man game uh, to start the second half and got him some looks, uh, posted him a few times, got him the ball at the top of the key. Really just, you know, he's, he's a very talented scorer, uh, and uh, we wanted to move him around and, and felt like that uh, really that didn't have anybody that matched up with him very well. You guys twice fouled him on three, and they got six free throws out of that out. How tough was that? Yeah, and that's one of the things we talked to the team about after, Bob, was that, you know, like, you know, guys, we, we've said, you know, we need to put together a game where we really compete and we're a team, uh, you know, for 40 minutes. We did that tonight, but, and now we got to fix some basketball stuff. You can't foul three-point shooters. Uh, you know, you can't foul jump shooters. We fouled one on a little floater in the lane from about 12 feet, which is the shot we wanted them to take all night. We, we challenged our guys before the game. If they, if they can beat us making little 12-foot jump shots, then, you know, God bless them. You know, good good game for Arkansas, and uh, we fouled on one of those as well. And so there's there's a few plays like that, and some offensive execution plays that uh, you know we can clean up and get better at. So in, in, in some ways, that's a positive thing, but uh, didn't help us win the game today. What did Whit do that was made him so effective? I, I just think he's a really versatile dude. You know, he, he, he's pretty crafty. He's, he, he's not overly explosive in terms of blowing by you, but he's pretty good at, you know, changing directions and getting guys on their hip and getting to two feet uh, around the basket and, and uh, you know, either drawing fouls or getting the ball on the rim. When you heard Jones wasn't going to play, were you thinking, hey, maybe this is going to be our day? And then when you guys jumped out on him, too. 
Yeah, I thought that before. I knew Jones wasn't going to play. I think we've got a good basketball team, and I uh, got a lot of respect for Eric and, and Arkansas, but uh, also felt like they had some real offensive challenges with how we played defensively. So to be honest with you, I felt like that before I knew Mason wasn't playing. I think you have to. I, I don't know why you would feel any other way. Any other questions? All right, thank you all. Thank you.